Good morning, friends. Welcome to Worship with St. Mark's Day Methodist Church. I'm so glad to welcome you this morning. I'm glad you found us here online. My name is Emily. I'm the senior pastor at St. Mark's, and it's a joy to welcome you and tell you about a few of the things going on in the life of our church. Uh, I would remind you here at the beginning of the service that there is a way for you to let us know you were here today through the Connect card um, that is on our worship page, and there's also a way for you to give offering there and uh, resources for engaging children in worship. So I hope you'll take advantage of all of those things. Uh, coming up this Saturday, the pumpkins will arrive for our annual pumpkin patch. Uh, this is something we've been doing for several years uh, to help support some of our uh, neighborhood ministries. And so I hope you'll come and help us uh, on Saturday when the truck arrives. There's a sign-up sheet that went out uh, a sign-up form that went out with uh, the email this morning, and it's been in the newsletter and other places. So let us know you're coming, uh, and we'll confirm a time once we're sure of when the truck is arriving. Um, so let us know you're going to be there so we can be in touch with you uh, and come, bring your mask, bring some water, and help us unload pumpkins and get the pumpkin patch set up uh, on Saturday. Also, beginning this week, we start to launch all of our fall small group opportunities. So you've gotten some information in your email about this, uh, about joining Sunday school classes, which is always a possibility, but also about some special studies. Uh, the Tuesday night group that I lead is going to be starting a book called Getting Involved with God. Uh, that's about the Old Testament. And so we will begin this Tuesday at seven o'clock via Zoom. And you can let me know if you want to participate in that. You can send me an email so I can make sure to get you the Zoom link. Uh, and then on Thursday mornings, there's a women's Bible study group that will be uh, gathering to read Open and Unafraid, the Psalms as a Guide to Life. Uh, so we'll be studying the Psalms together at 9.30 a.m. via Zoom with Pastor Katie. Uh, and then Steve Phillips is leading a conversation on the book Just Faith, um, which is about reclaiming progressive Christianity. And it's written by uh, Guthrie Graves Fitzsimmons, who grew up here at St. Mark's and is now a writer and activist. And so if you're interested in reading his book, uh, you'll be able to do that with Steve. Their first meeting will be on Sunday, October 11th at 9.30 in the morning, um, but the future times will be determined by the group at the first meeting. So um, there's a sign-up form for that uh, that is also available from the newsletter. We're also offering a couple of short-term opportunities. Pastor Katie is going to teach one um, called Help Thanks Wow, Three Essential Prayers for Parents. It's based on a book um, called Help Thanks Wow by uh, Anne Lamott. And so it's an opportunity uh, to learn how to weave those into your prayer life and to teach them to your children. And so that will begin on October the 21st, also at 7 p.m. Uh, and then if you are new to the St. Mark's community, and you want to learn a little bit more about who we are and what it means to be a part of our church, we're going to be offering what we call the Welcome Mat class. Uh, there'll be one online session on October 11th at 5 via Zoom, and then there'll be an in-person session, if you are comfortable with that, uh, to come on a campus tour of the church and learn, learn a little bit more about us there. Um, so you can sign up for that. We need to know that you're coming, so we can send you the Zoom link, and there's a sign-up form as well uh, in your newsletter. We also will be launching uh, Children's Sunday School online each Sunday, as well as Youth Sunday School online, and then our youth for their evening activities uh, will be returning to in-person gatherings. Uh, they'll be doing so uh, outside as much as possible. We'll ask all of our youth to wear masks and take all of the precautions that we're taking campus-wide, um, but we're really excited for our youth to have a chance to be together again at the church. That will launch on October 11th, so next Sunday, uh, the youth will be back in person at St. Mark's uh, at, our, at the youth house at 520 Pecor Street. And so I hope that uh, if there's a youth in your family, you'll have them there for that. We're really excited to welcome them back to our campus. I think that's all of the announcements that I have this morning, and so I invite us to go to God in prayer. Gracious and holy God, we pray that you would be with us as we worship this morning, that you would open our hearts and our minds to what you would say to us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.